Hi friends, Ms. Dower here. I have come today to show you guys a special type of word problem. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the type of word problem until after we read it, because I wanna see if you can figure it out. So here's the word problem. Now that it is cold, I get out my winter clothes. Every sentence that I read when I'm reading a word problem, I like to stop and think about what I just read. So right now I'm imagining somebody who's really cold and maybe they're in a big closet and they're pulling out winter clothes. I have five boxes of tops. So now I'm imagining that they're standing in front of five boxes. Each box has 18 long sleeve tops. So now inside the boxes, I'm imagining some long sleeve tops. I donate 12 of the tops. Oh, so now I'm picturing that this person is taking out some tops and they're saying, mm, I don't like this anymore, and they're going to donate them. How many tops, winter tops, do I have? So now how many winter tops do I have? So now I'm imagining that this person is counting out all their tops and they're asking me for help. So you'll see I wrote on the side all of my steps to solving word problems. The first one is, answer in a complete sentence. And you might be thinking, wait a second, Ms. Dower, I don't know the answer yet. How can I answer in a complete sentence? But here's how. You write it as a blank. The reason why is because it will help you remember what it is that you are trying to figure out. It's also good practice for writing complete sentences. You'll notice my complete sentence has two special things, a capital letter, and an end mark. Then it says to draw a picture. So when I'm reading the problem and I'm imagining it, it will help me draw the picture. So in my problem, it said that I had five boxes of tops. So I'm gonna draw my five boxes of tops. One box, two box, three box, four box, and five box. I am pretty good at math and I'm a really kind person, but I am not the best artist. And that's okay. You can still see that I have five boxes. It says each box has 18 long sleeve tops. Now, I do not want to spend the time to draw 18 long sleeve tops. That will take forever and it won't help me solve the problem. So I am just going to write the number. 18 because that still helps me figure out what I need to do without taking all the time to draw the picture. Then it says I donate 12 of the tops. Hmm. So I'm thinking about my picture and I'm thinking about what's happening in the story. If I'm donating some of these tops, I'm getting rid of them. I am not getting more. So I am not going to put a 12 here. I'm going to take my total here and I'm going to take 12 away from that total because I know that I am getting those 12 tops from inside here. So now I have my picture. The next step says to estimate. So when I am estimating my problem, that means that I'm thinking about, oh, about how much is it? So I like to round because rounding helps me get close to my answer so I can decide if it makes sense. So I'm going to round 18 to the nearest tens place. If I round 18 to the nearest tens place, I get 20. Now, there are five groups of 20. Knowing that there are five equal groups I know that I need to take five times 20 because times means equal groups of. So when I'm solving a problem like this, I will say five equal groups of 20. And then I know that five times 20 is 100. I solve this by counting by 20. 20. 40, 60, 80, 100. So now I know that I have about 
100 shirts. It will be less than 100 because I had to round up to get to 20. Now, I'm giving away 12 of them. 12 is about 10. So, my answer, if I estimated it, is 90. Now, that is probably not my exact answer. So, I'm not going to put it there. This just helps me decide if my answer is reasonable when I really solve it. Sometimes, when you do this, you can do it all in your head. Sometimes you need to write it down. So I know that my answer is going to be about 90. And I wrote estimate on there so that I don't forget. The next step is to actually solve it. So now is when I'm really going to figure out my answer. So I am taking five groups of 18. And again, notice I keep going back to my picture because my picture is really helping me figure out what it is that I needed to do. So I am going to take five times 18. Now, I like to use the area model. So I'm gonna decompose or break apart 18 into 10 and eight. Now I do five times 10 and five times eight. So you will see, I got my two partial products. Now what do I need to do? I need to add them. So now I'm showing that I have a total of 90 shirts, which is very close to what I estimated, but I'm still not done. Look back at my picture. I figured out that this total is 90, but it says that I donated 12 of the tops, which means that I gave away 12 of them, which means I need to subtract. So now I need to take 90, take away 12. So I'm going to write 90 minus 12. Ooh, look at that. Can I take two away from nothing? Nope. So I need to regroup. When I regroup, I go to the nine tens and I make it eight tens and I give a ten to the ones place. Now I have ten, take away two, which gives me eight, and eight, take away one, which gives me seven. So now I have an answer of 78. I'm going to write 78 in here. Now, I always like to double check my work to be extra sure that I'm correct. So what I'm going to do with the green marker is I'm going to double check my answer. So I'm going to do 78 plus 12. 8 plus 2 is 10. Regroup. 7, 8, 9. I get 90. Now, to recheck that these equal 90, I'm going to use a different strategy to multiply. I'm going to use the standard algorithm, and I'm going to take 18 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 more gives me 90. So I'm feeling pretty confident about my answer. So the very last step after I decide if it's reasonable, and 78 and 90 are pretty close. And I'm not surprised because I knew that my answer was probably going to be smaller because I had to round up. So the last step is to answer. So now is when I can put 78 in my answer spot. So this was a two step problem because I had to figure out how many tops I had all together, and then I had to figure out how much I had left after I donated. So now it is your turn to practice your two-step problems.